Hello friends, my name is Dr. Odesh Singh and I am an author. I was in Indian Revenue Service Custom and Central Excise for 25 years and I took voluntary retirement in 2016 October. And I am now focusing on educating uh, the youths of today and writing books to share my knowledge and experience with other people. Friends, today I am going to take up a very very important uh, topic that is 10 tips to crack civil services examination. Friends, civil services examination is one of the toughest examination in this world. There are more than 5 lakh people who appear in the examination for less than 1000 of seats. And so you can understand that more than 99% of the people don't get through. So how you can ensure that you get selected to civil services and how you can ensure that you get a best rank in the civil services, this is what we are going to deal today. So I am going to provide you 10 tips. If you follow these 10 tips, then you are likely to achieve a great success in the civil services examination. So friend, the first and most important thing is that you should try to decide as early as possible that you are going to write civil services examination. There are many people, you know, who will uh, do medicine or who will go for engineering or then they will do some uh, work for a couple of years and then they will decide and they waste so much of time. So if you are really thinking about civil services, I will advise you that decide as quickly as possible. So even in 11th and 12th, if you can make up your mind, then you can join a course like the BA, BCom or any uh, science courses, which will have the, um, your graduation in the same subject as you plan to take as an optional. And this is going to save a lot of time. And then what will happen that you will be using the graduation time for preparation of the civil services examination and you will succeed much earlier than other people. So this is the first thing that decide as early as possible. Problem happens is that we are sometimes not able to decide early because we want to a backup career. So we often go for engineering because civil services is a tough examination. So sometimes we want a backup career. So we want we join engineering or we join medicine or we join a BB or a, a professional course like law so that you know we at least have a backup career. So suppose you have chosen this path and you have taken a course, uh, a professional course, then I will advise you that you must try to start preparation early. So when you are in the second year uh, of your uh, uh, college and schools, in that case, in the second year itself, you must start preparing for civil services. Now you need not to start uh, with full-fledged uh, studies. What you can do is that you can devote uh, every day one or two hours of uh, your time for civil services preparation and you can use the weekends and you can use the summer vacations and the winter vacation and that way you will have a lot of time and you will have an edge over the people who are preparing late. So this is my uh, suggestion to you that you start early. The third important point is that don't wait for the last moment. You should be very regular for preparing the civil services examination. See every day uh, you can devote at least two to three hours of your time whether you are doing an engineering or any other course like even medicine you are doing then you can devote at least two three hours of time every day for preparation of the civil services now preparation of the civil services require a general knowledge and this you can uh, do by reading the newspapers and you can start preparing for the you know the ncrt books you can uh, so this way uh, if you start devoting the regular time for civil services then uh, you will have a lot of time for example in a year which has uh, 365 days suppose you are having even able to devote two, three hours every day, then you have got more than a thousand hours with you. And the summer vacation and winter vacation, if you use eight hours or nine hours a day, then you can have perhaps three to four thousand uh, hours of preparation every year. So you can imagine the advantages which you are going to get by preparing early. And friends, don't waste your time in all this, you know, useless discussions, which uh, generally goes on in the college. And so don't uh, waste your time over there, rather use that time in doing a fruitful discussion, discussing about the national issues, and that will help you in uh, clearing the concept, understanding the fundamental. So the fourth important point, my friend, is to is develop the habit of making notes. This is very important. What happens that, you know, sometimes uh, we uh, see so many things, we uh, read the newspapers, we read books, and we forget about uh, the contents very soon. That time we may feel that we remember, but actually we don't remember. So it is better that you keep a pencil and copy and whatever important point you, uh, you come across, you immediately make notes of that. If, if possible, you can have a newspaper cutting also. You make a file and keep a newspaper cutting on that particular file. And so you develop a daily notes and based on that, you can make a computer file where you can 
update your notes so this way you will be able to record it in your computers so this is very very important and so once you make a notes thereafter you come back on that notes uh, during revision and make a secondary notes and secondary notes means uh, basically that uh, among the notes whatever you have not captured those things you can uh, capture in the secondary notes even if you are making notes every day then you are likely to forget it after a week or 10 days see it takes lot of time to get the things frozen in our mind and get uh, the things remember on the permanent basis so what i used to do is that i will uh, generally uh, revise the things in a weekly basis so in every week for example the forenoon of sunday or like that you can earmark for revising so there you will open the notes uh, and see every uh, important thing in the notes and then on the basis of that notes you make a secondary notes that means whatever you have already understood and whatever has gone into your mind and crystallized you leave that but whatever is still not remember then you can make a secondary note in a secondary note copy so that way in the second time when you are doing you just focus on the secondary note and that will help you uh, uh, you know uh, remembering the concept very clearly another thing which i i, I used to do uh, uh, very frequently is that whenever you are uh, feeling not reading or in the early morning or when you don't feel like you know studying then also you can open the notes copy and then you can just remember uh, those uh, secondary notes and so uh, the more you revise the more number of time you revise the better you will be able to understand the concept the sixth very very important point is that you should choose the right optional as you know in the civil service examination there are two papers basically four uh, papers of general studies of 1000 marks and there is one paper which will have to, uh, one optional you have to select which will have two paper of 250 marks each and therefore the choosing of the right optional is very very important most of the people you know are generally lethargic or they just follow the rut and they uh, choose the subject which either they have studied in their graduation courses or which other people are um, uh, choosing i will advise you not to do that first of all that you should try to select an optional which is actually a high scoring optional and where the syllabus is not very large so there are many optional which uh, varies for example history is there psychology is there anthropology is there sociology is there and there are so many optional where the syllabus is not very huge and you can prepare in the short period of time and then you can score a very good marks but important point to remember is that it should suit your aptitude also so suppose you do not have a very good memory and you find it difficult to you know remember things then maybe these uh, optionals are not very good but suppose you have a got a good uh, memory and that then your expression capacity is very well your language command is also very good in that situation it will be better to opt for these optional for example i choose maths and physics in my time for uh, writing civil services those time we had to take two optional because i was not very good in remembering the dates and all that so i choose mathematics and physics because concepts are more important in that so you can choose your subject which which we have you when you have a flair for that subject next important thing is that you must develop a writing skill you have to understand that civil services means basically the entire paper is subjective the prelims may be objective but the mains is uh, totally subjective and so in the subjective paper my friend um, uh, what is important is the presentation presentation basically means that uh, beautiful writing how you write secondly that there should be no grammatical mistake there should be no spelling mistakes so you have to and at the same time you have to also see that you are able to finish your uh, paper within the time limit and also within the word limit so if you can do that then you will be able to score the best marks and this can happen only when you do a regular practice of writing the answer so develop this habit that once you remember something once you have gone through the subject once you saw have seen the topic then you just you know uh, write uh, the whole thing into your own words within the time limit so that you know whether you are able to capture the entire concept within the time frame and within the word limit or not and this only by practice it will uh, you will become perfect the next important uh, point is that the eighth important point is that you should form a study circle this is a very highly advisable thing that you know instead of studying everything alone you better form a group of 3 4 people and together you study when you study together then what happens that some subject you can prepare some subject other person can prepare and then you can discuss and remember that in the, in the, when we are discussing the topic then the things goes into our mind much faster and much deeper and they stay in our mind for a longer period so, and uh, so this is a suggestion that you form a study circle if you are joined a coaching institute from that you can um, form a circle if you are in your college and if uh, there also you can form a circle and within that circle you know you can uh, devote one hour of time for discussion or when you discuss these topics then you will find that you will be able to remember the concept much better one of the very important question which many people ask is whether i should join coaching or not this is a very ticklish question but i will suggest that if you can afford you should join a coaching 
if you join a full time classroom coaching nothing like it because you will get full uh, uh, notes and then you will also get a company of people you will have a motivation and all that things comes when you join a coaching but suppose you are in a not in a position to join a coaching in that situation i will say you can join some online coaching where you can study at your home the second important thing is that you can start preparing from the books for example i never joined a coaching for civil service examination so you don't think that um, without joining coaching you cannot succeed definitely you can succeed without joining coaching also but if you can join coaching at least once that can help you but if you cannot afford to join coaching you don't have the time to join coaching don't worry about it start preparing from the books books are available in the market lot of material is available in the uh, online portals on online, online academies and that will help you in getting uh, top rank in the civil services examination and finally my friends i want to tell you that civil services needs lot of time you cannot just write the examination and get success normally you know it takes minimum one year of uh, preparation for writing a first attempt itself then the process of civil services itself take at least one year to complete so even if you are writing just one attempt it takes two years to complete the whole process and i will advise you to give at least two attempts um, that mindset should be to actually write two attempts because most of the people get selected in the second or third attempt if you are lucky of course you can get selected in the first attempt uh, itself and i wish you all the best for that but mentally you should be prepared that at least you should be writing two or three attempts so that means when you are going for civil services preparation make up your mind to prepare for at least 3 years one year for first year preparation one year for the first attempt and one year for the second attempt so that much of the time you should keep in your mind while preparing for civil services examination so if you follow these 10 tips friends which i have suggested in my uh, this video i am sure that you are likely to succeed uh, in the civil services examination without much problem wish you all the best and god bless you and if you like my video please share that to with your friends and please uh, give your comments and we will like to uh, answer the comments uh, and make even better video thank you very much for watching my video